what's going on everybody welcome back to another hopefully not boring and somewhat entertaining video the product that we're going to talk about today is the z automotive burn box for the hellcat so what i'm going to do is just show you what's inside of this box made in the usa uh, i did do a taser video when i had my scat packs so if you look at that video you know you'll you'll know how to do the taser but the burn box is different. Um, basically, this is a trimmed down smaller version, um, and it's meant just for the Hellcat. So basically, what this is going to give me is line lock, the option to turn on um, different fans. Uh, I think it's intercooler and the regular engine fan to turn them on for a cool down, a cool down mode, um, I guess, in between runs of the tracks, which I might end up trying eventually. We'll see how that goes. And then the third thing is the light show. Now, when it comes to the light show, I really don't think I need to make a separate video about that. I already did make a video about the light show. So what I'll probably do is just link to that light show video in this video. This way you can basically go check that out. Now, the one thing I will do when it comes to light show is I was reading somewhere you can um, change on a Windows PC decide which light show you want which you don't want what order they appear in so I might do a video about that down the line I have not decided yet so we'll see where that goes but let's just jump right into this so basically it's the same type of box that you're gonna get for the regular taser you're gonna have your unit you're gonna have an update cable you're gonna have some important reading material where it says that you must read and fully understand the user manual located at here which is what I have pulled up and a nifty little sticker and that concludes our unboxing yay golf clap all right so basically as I mentioned the taser and the burn box significantly different in size if you know what the taser looks like I, I don't have an identical representation of it but it could be somewhere around this size so I would say it's probably about double the size of this um, this is a little munchkin and I actually prefer it this way because if I'm gonna leave it plugged in one of the gripes I had with the taser was it was much longer than this so if you keep it plugged in it stuck out and I was always worried that when I went to go activate my parking brake or whatever that I would kick it and somehow damage my OBD so no bueno this is what it looks like it's a very simple unit it plugs in this is the port for you to update obviously with this cable and you have to use a windows computer which sucks because i have a lot of macs but i also have windows so we're okay so some of you might say hey well you know why did you get this um i can see the perk with the taser the actual taser it's like okay you can get the srt pages and there's a lot more to it but i have srt pages i have an srt so what is the main function for me to have this why did i buy this simply put line lock and light show <laughs> you know i know that the uh the fan and intercooler pump cool down that's obviously going to come into play at some point i'm going to want to try that experiment i don't know much about turning them on and turning them off and what that does i know where i can do it in the settings we'll go over that real quick um but as far as the line lock to me, that's the most important thing. I like to do burnouts. I like to put on a show once in a while. I don't like just smashing on the brake and hitting the gas and then, you know, people are like, oh, do this, like I'm playing a bongo. I'm not playing these games. This is just such a simple thing for me to have and to, for me to do. So basically, you know, you just stop the car, you push two buttons on the steering wheel, and what it's supposed to do is lock up the ABS solenoids on the front wheels so that I don't have to do anything except hit the gas and that'll make my tire spin it's going to be a lot less strain on certain parts back there and um i don't know i think it's just going to be all around a cooler thing for me so um what i'm going to do is show you what the menus look like real quick inside and then we'll just try to do a burnout probably okay so first things first when you want to put your burn box in the car you're gonna to have to get down low come down here and you're gonna have to look up so basically once you get underneath the dash area you're gonna look next to the pedal brake the parking brake and right next to it if my pudgy finger would stop taking all the focus right there you'll see the obd2 port so that's what you're gonna want to plug this into so essentially all you're gonna do it could not get any easier you're just gonna take your unit you're gonna plug it in 
and you're going to see some lights going on. That's a good thing, okay? So I'll let you know that shit just got real. All right, so now that we're inside of the car, for right now, let's just show you how the menu looks when you're turning fans on. So to access that part of the menu, you have to go to the audio section right here. So basically, you're going to want to push the right arrow and hold it. And then you're going to want to push the cancel button. And that'll let you toggle through the menus. All right. I'm just balancing my camera on top of the airbag at this point and hoping for a miracle. So like I said, you're going to press and hold the right button and cancel button. And hopefully we can hear some noises. We're going to push it. And what that does is it says engine fans on. And I hear the engine fan starting. The next button, we push it again, cancel. Now I'm still holding the right. Now intercooler pump is now on. If you push it again, the fan and the intercooler pump are now both on, on a low setting. And if you push it again, the fan and the intercooler pump are both on high. You should definitely be able to hear that. Um, again, my car is not on right now, so I don't like doing this. So I'm gonna push it again one more time at, while holding the right button, push the cancel button, and that turns off the whole cool down effect. Now, why is this important? You're gonna ask, well, I'll be the first one to tell you I am not a professional racer. I've actually never stepped foot on a race track. That will happen soon enough, and I'm gonna have to learn trial by fire, baby. But in between runs, your car does get hot. Obviously, you're you're hitting it and you're, you're abusing the car a little bit. So this gives you an option to manually turn on either just the engine fan or just the intercooler or both at a low setting or both at a high setting. And it gives you some flexibility as far as cooling goes to try to possibly cool the car down uh, a little bit more than it would have been before the next run because obviously when things are hot, they're not running the best. So again, there's probably people out there with a better explanation about this. I'm just trying to give you a little demonstration. The uh, buttons again, you press and hold this. You always hold this, you never let go. You have to be staying in the audio section which is number six and you're just basically holding this and pressing this and you're pushing this numerous times while you hold this if i if i was a professional athlete i'd probably have large enough hands to reach around this goddamn airbag but i don't so right now it says cool down off so that's it that's for that uh as far as the line lock goes that's a totally different setup i'm gonna have to like i said show you a quick demonstration of that when i'm not in this garage because i can't do a line lock in my garage that would not be cool although that probably would make for an interesting video okay everybody i don't know how good this picture is going to get picked up but there's only two things we need to do we're in a parking lot i've got srt b5 somewhere out there you can't see him he's filming with the g7x we got a dash cam going we got all kinds of shit going so basically the only things you're supposed to do you're supposed to <laughs> have lighting that would be number one you're gonna push this and hold this and then you're basically gonna push the set up button. And basically, you're gonna keep holding the left button. And now what that's gonna do is give you all of these crazy messages, right? Anti, service anti-lock, brake system, this and that. So while you're still holding it, basically don't let go of this because that's now your brake. You're gonna just push the brakes twice, right? Give it like two good pushes. You're just gonna keep the car in drive. You're not gonna do anything else. Now your traction disabled. Are you ready, everybody? We're gonna start smoking. And we just got engulfed in smoke. <laughs> You gotta go. <coughs> Let's go. <coughs> and uh, so that's the that's what usually happens when you just destroy your tires. I can't see. High beams, nothing's working. All right, we gotta go. So the things we do for you, YouTube viewers. 
anyway, we're gonna get out of here before the cops show up because we were not supposed to be there. <laughs> Big shout out to SRTB5 for filming. What a champ. He probably got a little cloud action, but we're gonna see what his uh, video looks like on the G7X right now. Christ. Okay, everybody, so we're gonna wrap this video up because it is kind of long, as usual. I'm just gonna link the light show video from my last car, the Scat Pack, because it's pretty much the same exact light show. I'll do a separate video showing a way to configure it if I can figure it out. If I can figure the configuration. Sounds weird, that's a tongue twister. Um, just gonna show you the aftermath a little bit, and that wasn't even a long burnout. Uh, and if you ask why, and you're like, oh, you should have got into it, you should have stayed into it, I'll tell you exactly why. Me and a couple buddies are actually preparing <laughs> for a burnout video, um, and I'm getting new tires because of the burnout video. So the new tires are coming, the burnout video is happening, it will happen, it's going to be a different video. Um, that's why I needed to leave some tread, but I just wanted to show you. You can't really see anything. This is basically what you can kind of sort of expect all the way in the back you know and as far as tire tread goes um, <laughs> I'm running low guys I'm running low but it's okay because I'm getting new tires um, again if you're having any doubts about getting the burn box for the Hellcat I say just get it because you know at the track, from what I was told by a couple people, it's not ideal because while the burn box is plugged in, this is another special note for you, you can't disable traction control on your own. If you're lining up and you're getting ready to do a run and you know, you're know uh, you just smoking a tire so you get them nice and sticky, this is great. It's a great product. But from what I'm told, you have to disable it and then hold the button again and you know that's seconds and seconds and seconds and some people just do not want to deal with that so keep that in the back of your mind um i bought this because i just want to do smoke shows for friends and i'll probably down the line look at a more permanent line lock situation that allows me to keep traction off so i can start going to the track which is also coming up soon so look after that um again thank you for watching not much else to say if you have any questions just let me know i'll link to the burn box below as well as the video of me showing the light show um there's not much for me to show you it blinks it looks flashy cool like a cop car at times and you know you can keep it on at a car show and the only other cool thing about it is if your battery gets low like say you leave your car and i found this out through mr workplay drive if you leave your car parked at the car show and you walk away and you leave the lights on, basically what could happen is your battery could die, right? But if your battery gets too low, what happens is the box will turn off automatically to conserve your battery. What a genius idea. All right, well, that's it, everybody. If you like this video, please give it a royal thumbs up. That happens to be a really cool thing, and I appreciate that a lot. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you thought. Let me know if you have the burn box. Let me know if you have the taser. Let me know if you had a good day. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and share this video with some friends if you could please. I'm trying to get my channel to grow, grow, grow and I appreciate all the help I could get. So until the next video, thanks for watching.